In this first chapter, let's quickly go over the concept of data-driven testing and the benefits it offers for test automation. Then we'll move on to using Kellogg Studio to set up and run data-driven tests. Let's start off with this scenario. When applying automated testing to verify lock-in screens functionality, you need to perform tests using dozens of accounts, even hundreds, with different sets of credentials and user roles to increase the confidence level when shipping this login screen to production. If you're new to test automation, here are several approaches that you could think of. The first one, you create one automated test script and manually change the credential values every time you run a test with a different account. So 100 accounts mean 100 test runs at 99 times changing data manually before running the tests. This sounds like the worst solution ever. The second approach, you create an automated test, then duplicate it. Each duplication is for an account that you go into test with. So 100 accounts equal 100 test cases. Put them together into a test suite and run. This is still very time consuming and results in a lot of duplicate scripts. Not to mention that when the UI changes, you need to update all of the test cases. This approach isn't better than the first one. The third approach, and also the right one, is to apply data-driven testing. Meaning you create one automated test case using variables for input and expected results and prepare an Excel file to contain all the test data. If you want to test with 100 counts, then the file will have 100 rows of credentials. What you need now is to code the script to get the test data from the Excel file and run the tests one by one. And that's the concept of data-driven testing. Running the same automated test case or test script with different test data that can be stored or read from a separate source like an Excel file or database. Then, why data-driven testing? Well, first of all, more test data means higher test coverage and higher chances of bug detection. Second, data-driven testing saves up time and resources since you don't need to create and run many test cases for each set of test data, hence minimizing the duplicate codes and work. Also, it's easy for you to maintain. Test data, including test inputs and expected outputs, are stored separately from test scripts. You can change, update, or add new data to the data file without changing anything in the script. Moving on to how data-driven testing really works. Based on the concept I've mentioned earlier, you might have guessed it. Instead of using hard-coded values, a test script reads and uses test data stored in external files or database management systems to test a given AUT. For data-driven testing, Catalog Studio supports various types of data files to which you can buy variables, including internal data in Catalog Studio, external data files such as Microsoft Excel or CSV files, and any Java database connectivity, also known as JDBC. Sources like Postgre, SQL, MySQL, Oracle, and Microsoft SQL Server. That's all you need to know about the concept. In the next lessons, we're going to show you how to create an automated test case and bind data to apply data-driven testing using Catalog Studio. See ya!